Hey, what's happening guys? Elton McFall here. Well, if you're first to watch uh, my uh, walking videos here in my city of Montreal where I was born and raised, welcome. Welcome to you. Bienvenue. And uh, hope you enjoy this. But of course, if you're a snowflake and you're offended by the slightest thing, a little bit of swearing, uh, you know, F words and shit and all that, well, probably shouldn't watch this uh, jazz, really. You know, it's funny, I've been here in the Rosemont sector, I took the metro out of Beaubien Metro a few blocks from here, and, and I couldn't believe it, it's in the span of like five minutes, I saw a Jeep Cherokee XJ from probably the late 90s, a Volvo 240 wagon, which I may or may not have filmed, and I couldn't believe what blew my mind, which turned on the corner off of Beaubien and, and uh, St. Subaia was a, uh, a Corvair! A 65 to 69 Corvair and almost a flat black, that blew my mind, really. Uh, and it's funny because that's the second one I filmed driving in the city within months. I saw one during this, the, the heat waves in the summer there. Really, uh, you know, pretty clinic, eh? That was really, that blew my mind. So, because again, they're, they sold tons and tons of these cars, but they weren't exactly the best build quality, you know? So, yeah, we are on uh, Boyer Street, La Rue Boyer, not Boyer. That's incorrect. It's Boyer. And it's sort of a beautiful day. It's, as we say in French, alternant soleil nuage, which means a mix of sun and clouds. And, uh, I don't know, I just uh, got off the metro. I figured I'm going to go find a street that I've never done a walking video, and this is it, man. Actually, originally I was going to uh, gonna go straight to a second hand store to see if I could find a frame for somebody. He, a uh, really nice guy I met the other day. He bought, like, a whole bunch of frames from me from another guy who hadn't bought nothing yet, and that's a whole other story I don't feel like talking about. Look at that. Can you believe that's a Hyundai? Is that crazy or what? That still blows my mind. A company that 30 years ago, they made the shittiest cars you could imagine. Ha! Well, at least there's still some leaves and foliage on the trees. That's uh, kind of my aim there. I don't feel like I filmed enough of that last few weeks and all that because unfortunately, yeah, I wasn't feeling well. Last week was shitty. Fucking felt like shit pericarditis. On top of that, I hurt my back unrealizingly. Not just because of stupid phone or computer use, but because of... Uh, my mattress i should have turned it over sooner like i did yesterday yeah well you know i'm not perfect eh? i am not perfect oh by the way actually let me remind you of this especially for you younger people let me tell you something i don't care who you meet and how they act okay no matter how much class or intelligence they may show nobody is perfect uh, personne est parfait and remember that it's just like cars i, I remember speaking to how many mechanics in my life and when it comes to cars okay I spoken to two mechanics and they told me the smartest answer when I asked them, you know, we, we, you know, which cars are the best, blah, blah. No, no, you know what they told me, both of them? They both, after many years experience, you could tell they've been working this many, many years, 20, 30, 40 years. They said they all have their problems. And he says the Japanese cars, the, the difference is between American cars is that when they break, they fucking cost you an arm and a leg to fix. <laughs> you know what I mean? God, I love colors. I never get tired of colors. That's one of the reasons, like, I went to go uh, have dinner at my aunt's place yesterday in St. Lambert, in St. Lambert, and I told her, I said, that's one of the aspects of winter I have difficulty with is the, uh, it's usually a lack of colors, you know. I've, grass is all covered with snow, snow is white, there's no more leaves, uh, and the days are often dark and cloudy. It gets dark earlier, it's tough, and to make things worse, all the vehicles are usually dirty. You know, it's, it is what it is is what it is so uh let me see here today is the uh today's the fifth the fifth of october the 5th october 2021 i hear a jet on landing there it is that's a big one actually let's get it let's include it in the video which i like to do because i don't do things like other people what the hell did you see that i'll show you that in a second look at that look at that there's actually a, a plane in the same direction, practically, but flying much, much higher. That's weird. For a second, I thought it was a UFO. Check that out. Look at that zoom, baby. It's up. Look at that. Four engines. Which means it's probably an A340. But, I mean, the damn thing is, like, how many feet up? But anyway, you get the drift. You get the idea... You get the idea. We're in the Rosemo sector here, which is above where I live, which is above Hochelaga. Very similar, maybe a slightly higher income, not very much so, you know. Then, of course, above that you have, uh, or in this area, sorry, maybe actually this is really Villaray, I should say. Maybe not Rosemo, but Villaray maybe is also considered part of Rosemo, I'm sure. 
that's neat. That's interesting. And uh, of course, above that, going to the tip of Montreal in the north, more north of here, is the Hunsik uh, sector. Uh, again, working class neighborhoods like this, you know, somewhat middle class, a lot of poor, you know, just like a lot of these old areas. Eh? Here comes a Blazer, Chevy Blazer S10 or S15. I like these, you know, because I like them not like so many things. Me and cars are like music. A lot of stuff I don't like when it's new. I don't care for them, but then they get older and I like them because there's fewer of them. And those things are even fewer and fewer because, because unfortunately, uh, they're not amazing vehicles, honestly, when it comes to General Motors there. And, uh, you know, uh, on top of that, uh, I once uh, watched a video from a guy who reviewed a Oldsmobile Bravada. The Bravada was. Uh, the Bravada was basically an Oldsmobile version of that Blazer, which is kind of a joke. And he said that was the worst vehicle he ever drove. It's just terrible, terrible ride, terrible handling. And I remember I rode in one once, and it was a, a friend of my dad's who had one. It had a terrible ride, that thing. Just, that's GM. For, that's why GM has almost gone down a fucking toilet, because they're mediocre. They've been mediocre quality since the 80s, I'm sorry to say. With exceptions. Now we are at the La Rue Bellechasse. Let me give you a little show here of the sign. Got a little windy over here though, I don't like that. Oh, sorry, sorry, Belanger. Pardon me. And there's an Isuzu with an American V8. Speaking of GM, talk about bizarre. Which is one of the few things that uh, that they actually kept making right. Like my father always said, when my father told me this like 20 years ago, he's like, yeah, the Americans, Ford, GM, Chrysler, what do they make? Awesome. They always have is V8 engines and some V6s, you know. Wait, there's an intri intriguing smell coming here. Is that the van that I wanted to see before? Hold it, hang on a second. All right, I'm happy. I just filmed that old Grumman step van there, uh, a disappearing type of vehicle. Not as many other on the road as it used to be because, you know, when a vehicle gets to be about 20 years old, give or take, that's when there's a lot less of them, you know? What is this bizarre food smell? I don't know if it's good or bad. It's obviously ethnic. It's, it's, I don't know what the hell it is. I'm usually good at identifying smells of foods, you know? Battery's dying, but that's okay. I'm gonna spare. Man, no, no. Boulangerie Artisanal. Uh, artisanal. How can I translate that? Yeah, it looks kind of like my Schwinn, but this is a this is a replica. Artisanal is like uh, another word, I think, for folk art, kind of. Yeah. Hmm. It's kind of neat. This is neat. Actually, neat is a bad word for this. This is cool, baby. The Durango. And I'll never forget that one that Ben rented with him there. It cost a lot of money for us both to rent that, but damn it, it was fun. It was worth it. These are beautiful rooftops. Look at the ornate details on that, eh? C'est pas beautiful, ça? Well, I'm going way past the second hand store. I don't care. I mean, I was telling myself in the metro. I'm like, why do I feel... You know, the thing that sucks about being a YouTuber, when you've been doing this like me for as long as you have and it's become part of your living and your revenue, obviously, it's, you feel this obligation have to do this and you have to film that and you have to do... I have to film walk... Okay, I'll tell you something else. I'm on my... Um, you know, uh, not maybe a month ago, I uh, rebuilt this model, this 65 Impala model that a friend gave me among other models. And it was just the, the worst condition you can imagine. Uh, I think the only thing missing on it was the wheels and I redid it and I didn't do a video on it. I didn't feel like it. And even right now, I'm working on a... I started working on a new look, uh, Montreal new look bus painting and I just, there's a part of me that doesn't feel like like uh, doing this like I did with the other paintings, you know, oh, uh, update and part one, three. I don't feel like it. I just, I think it's because I've become too transparent in what I'm doing and I think it's nice to have certain things. I don't know how to say it, like a... Like a secret, you know? Well, if you don't watch a lot of my videos, a little home like that, by the way, they call that a shoebox, as you can see why. And I'm sure something like that, as small as it is, it ain't cheap on this island of Montreal, let me tell you, because like any big city, the property values have skyrocketed, unfortunately, and only fortunately if, uh, of course, you have a home and uh, you've been there a long time and, uh, you know, you can ching-ching and, you know, get rid of it easily 
make a big profit and go buy a condo or F off and go somewhere else, you know. Oh, good. I'm glad the wind is not too much of a factor here. Skies are staying blue. Ah, Mr. Blue, whoa, whoa, when you look out your window, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's not the lyrics. I made it up. But I love foliage. You know, I love the colors that fall there to the yellow and orange and red, and it doesn't last long enough, unfortunately. Do, 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 do. But I am going to have to make a video of that, that, that new look, because one of the reasons why is because of the fact that there's a lot of guys who watch my videos that are like me. They love buses, you know? It's a big deal. So, you know, battery's going to conk out any moment now, I think. All right, what do we got here? Air Canada again? Air Canada! And what was in the news uh, yesterday? It's still in the news now. The president of Air Canada is a true Anglophone. As I was replacing the battery for a fresh one, look what I noticed here. Check that out. That's bizarre. It looks to me like this was a throughway before. You see this sometimes uh, between buildings, these really old buildings. They don't do stuff like that really anymore, I think. But anyway, the president of Air Canada, I don't remember his name, but do I really care anyway? Of course, a lot of people care now because it was in the news that it was leaked that apparently he doesn't speak French at all. And apparently the worst part is because he's been living here in Montreal a long time. Now, being that I'm part French and francophone, and actually more francophone if you didn't know, it's, I'm actually francophone. French is my mother tongue, my mom is French. And, but uh, yeah, it is It is kind of unacceptable, but they can, considering we're this like big, make a big fucking deal out of everything today, kind of a society and the news outlets, medias, uh, you know, like it's true, it, it's, it is a shame, it's wrong, but part of me doesn't really give a shit either. Uh, <laughs> you know, because he didn't run the company into the ground, did he? Right? Does that make him an asshole? You know what I'm saying? Just, I don't know. It's, uh, again, I'm like uh, one of those like devil's advocate kind of a view kind of thing. Look at this oldie here. You know, over 20 years ago, I worked for a cleaning company. I might as well give them a plug because they're great people. Called Coup de Ballet. And I did cleaning for senior citizens in, uh, you know, Côte St. Luke, Hampstead, Snowden. And there was a little, we had a little uh, escort like this wagon. And my boss, he bought it because we uh, we had started doing uh, uh, cleaning carpets with one of these carpet cleaning machines, which are just heavy and enormous. And it was just perfect for that. Economical, great little cars. And the reason why this car still exists, because it's not a typical Ford. Like other Fords, it has a Mazda four-cylinder. So it's a high-quality, dependable motor. And that's why they're around. Oh, damn, I'm on the wrong side with the wind. I gotta get back on the other side. I don't know how long I'm going to go there. I just popped in a fresh, a fresh battery. I think, uh, where am I now? I'm at uh, Jean Talon, I think now, eh? Right? Jean Talon. You know, I'm thinking, I kind of feel like going all the way to Jari. I could uh, I might not even go to the store now. I don't know, I'm kind of turned off with that now. There's that step van again. Wow, they got all the contracts, eh? That's the third stop I think I see. Maybe. Well, not the third. The sun, she is bright. It's this place here. Bellissimo. Give them a plug there, eh? Of course, the, the real Anglos, they'll call this Jean Talon. Of course, it's Jean Talon. Yeah, a little more wind here, eh? I try to take things a little bit slower, though. Catch my breath here, you know? I don't want it. The thing is, with this per pericarditis heart condition, if you don't know what that is, it's an inflammation of the heart. I've had this shit for almost two years. Lately, this week, I feel good, knock on wood. So, like I told my aunt just today, I said, me, no more fucking making these walks for hours. And you know what I mean? Like, if I feel tired now when I do something, that's it. I stop, I take a break. There's no more of this bullshit because I want to get rid of this. I don't want to have this forever. Here, that one's for you, Ben. Look at the color on that, that GTI. That's sweet. See, that's what I'm talking about. If you're going to have something, you know, modern, you know, uh, have something with, with color, you know, with, it's beautiful and eye-catching. Like that Kia Soul, I don't care for those. I mean, I don't hate them, but at least they're colorful, a lot of them, you know. Speaking of which, hey, speaking of which, look at that. Wow. That's interesting. Look at that. Ah, oh, damn, there it goes again. 
That, see, that's what I'm talking about. Thinking outside the box. Probably an artist that has that. Man, I would love to catch up to that Corvair, man. That would be a trip. That would be awesome. You know? Uh, Mr. Blue. Whoa, whoa. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 Call me Mr. Blue. Wow, I like that icon line. Wow, that's sharp. Look how clean that thing is. Eventually, unfortunately, they're going to become a dying breed, that's for sure. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Let's see, what other songs can I sing for you? Mm. Passage interdit. Passage means passage. Interdit means forbidden. See, you want that's a Toyota for you. You want a Toyota, you want high quality and dependability, this is what you get. This and Corollas and all these boring cars, but you know, that's Toyotas for you. The older ones, what they lack in, in, in style, they make up in quality. And the Americans is the other way around. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, look how beautifully old those doors are, man. Oh, me likes very much. They look kind of spooky, actually, eh? Looks like I'm not going to have a lack of choice of thumbnails here, that's for sure. You know? Oh, let's do something a little different, actually. I never really walk too much in the streets. You know? Recording all the last leaves remaining, which is kind of sad. Actually, no, it is sad. Sorry, it is. But I am the mind of an artist, you know? You know, my friend Joe, for example, Joe the bus driver, He's like that. I think he, he has the mentality of an artist, you know. Uh, he's not really a conformist, you know. He's a bus driver, yeah, but he's he's definitely has a creative mind. He has creative ideas. He doesn't, he has his own opinion. Look at this, ironically, I go into the street and here they fucking block the sidewalk. Well, et voila. See, trottoir barré means trottoir is sidewalk and barré means uh, blocked. I'll go on the other side here. Now there are certain parts of town, these kind of tents, okay, they're all over the place. And there are a lot of parts of the city that they're banned because people don't like them because they're ugly. Well, whatever, I don't give a shit if they're ugly or not. I mean, if I had a car and I had a home like that, I had a driveway, I'd fucking put one up. It's very handy to have that. You know, a car's not all covered in snow and keeps the snow out. What the hell's wrong with that? Man, this is a big job here, right? Eh? Got a building actually uh, on the corner of my street there. They're uh, redoing the foundation. Big job, man. Look at this. I like these RAV4s. Now, I'll tell you something right now. I bet you 100 bucks. Look at this thing. I bet you 100 bucks this thing is not from Quebec because A, it's in very good condition. There's no rust and it's got a bracket here for a front, front plate. Could have been from BC or something. Great condition. I don't know. I didn't care for those when they were new, like in two, 20 years ago, but I think they're, they're neat. They're, they're different. You know, I don't know. You know, I was talking about Toyotas being boring. Yeah, but not all of them. Be careful, don't get hit by a cyclist here or a car. Oh, I'd love to catch up to that Corvair, man. You know, it's funny, I, I complain a lot about a lot of uh, cars are colorless today and all that, you know, black and gray and silver and white. And, you know, and there's a deeper scheme of things, unfortunately, behind that. But you know what? Old cars, on the other hand, that's a different ball game because they have their uh, their beautiful lines. You know, their distinguishable features, uh, chrome details, and you know, like for example, that Corvair, which is much like the other GMs, like you know, Chevelle or an Impala, it has what they call a Coke bottle styling. Uh, you know, the way the fenders kind of lift up uh, at the belt line uh, on the side wind backside windows. You know. I think I'll probably just do this till Jari. I'm enjoying myself. I hope you are. Nice big old fountain here. Maybe I will see an oldie somewhere. I mean, you know, there are some people that are brave and actually, like that guy with the Corvair, that do drive their old cars uh, past, uh, you know, in, into November. I'm sorry, did I say we're October? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm a pothead. No, no, no. I'm sorry. It's November 5th today. November. November. This street looks familiar. Oh, yes. I know what street this is. This is Everett. It wasn't far from here, actually. I spotted a uh, Cadillac Brome that I decided to film with my phone in the rain. Like, I mean, a good amount, not a light rain, like a good, good rain. Like, 
And the old man, the old Italian man, as he came out, he starts talking to me and all this. He starts telling me he was going to sell it. He's asking four grand, and I'm like, 40 grand? And that's kind of a lot for a car that's not mint. Those caddies aren't worth much. Yeah, they're going up a bit because 80s cars are going up in value a bit because especially you guys, the millennials, you're really gaga over them. But still, those Cadillac Fleetwood Bromes, it's like it's one of the most common old cars you can find. I'm serious. They're so well preserved, you know. <sighs> Look at this. Isn't that cute? Two scooters. Are they owned by two women or a couple maybe? A couple of lesbians maybe? <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. Me with the. I have to say something risque. I have to push the envelope because unfortunately, we have become a pathetic society of conformity and political correctness, which is wrong. I think political correctness should only be uh, needed, used if needed. You know, like in other words, uh, you know, work situations, work for a company. What I'm, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I abide by YouTube's rules like everybody else. My God, it's the main let's. Jeez, look how ugly this is. Holy cow, talk about plain. But uh, again, YouTube and the powers that be, the rich people who control YouTube, they're trying to get people uh, like myself to uh, not talk about controversial subjects or swear too much, and it's fucking wrong. Because you only live once, and I'm going to tell you something. I had a lot of people I met, they're like, you know what, Elton, I like it when you swear, whether they met me or not. So I cut it down, I tone it down. But frankly, uh, you should be allowed to do whatever, say or do whatever you want, you know? I understand. Look, you know, I used to get these people that say, Oh, you know, I can't watch my video with my kid because you're swearing. Well, for Christ's sake, who the hell said this isn't uh, ABC? It's not PBS here. What does this look like? NBC? I don't care if fucking YouTube has become uh, as popular as television. <sighs> That's the beauty of YouTube. It's, it's, it's a platform for anybody to make videos. To make quality videos of, of subjects, of most subjects. And you can talk how you want, however you want. How, however, that being said... Of course, just so anybody knows, in case you're, you know, you're not too bright there, just to clarify, there's things, of course, you don't talk about, you don't show, you know, like violence, abuse, you know, things of that nature, you know, slaves, and, you know, all the things that are horribly wrong. Uh, that's not cool if you're using that for an entertainment purpose. Uh, educational, that's different. That's a, even that, I think, could be a gray area. Boy, I'm, why am I breathing so hard? I'm going to have to slow down more I think I think I've forgotten that I'm also going up too eh? yeah I think I'm gonna end this at the next gym I'm a little getting a little fucking tired now, actually though honestly you know so uh, but yeah if you want to see more videos like this uh, you know go ahead and subscribe there hit that like button uh, even the, the ratings, you know, the likes and dislikes, even sometimes, I'm like, I even one time sent a, I sent a, a little note to uh, YouTube, whoever they are there, it's like, hey, you should get rid of the dislike thing. I mean, what the hell, I was even thinking about that the other day, why the fuck you have a dislike button anyway, when, uh, you know, when you're, when you're on Facebook, like I'm on Facebook, you know, and uh, you can put likes to everything, but you can't put a dislike, see what I'm saying, see how stupid that is? It, it doesn't make any sense, I think, personally. Wasn't a Bolero, look at that, still in great condition. That car's probably over 15 years old, I don't know. Oh no, sorry, 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 excuse me. That actually could be one of the last Oldsmobiles they made because unfortunately for fans like myself, the Oldsmobiles uh, were discontinued in 2003. More signs of General Motors, a lack of control on uh, the market, on the, uh, the automotive market. And that's, of course, gave uh, J J the Japanese and so forth, uh, or Swedes or whoever else, uh, more... Uh, um, sales, sales in the sedans, four door sedans. Yeah, I'm fucking tired of walking. Now. I'm gonna stop this over here. I think I'm at Jari anyway. I'm kind of hoping because I want to like maybe go take the metro and or at least take a break somewhere, you know. Oh, big plane, big. Oh. Well, I'm glad I filmed that uh, that plane landing separately because I don't even know what the hell airline that was. Even though I'm zoomed in, I still am visually impaired, you know? So, because I, of course, if you don't know my videos, I do lots of compilation videos of trucking in the city, planes, trains, uh, you know? So, uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'll be obviously, unfortunately, less so in the, this time of year. Look at this. This is a Lincoln. Can you believe that's a Lincoln? 
You know, the funny thing is that you never see these cars because they're really a joke, really, because it, it, it's a Lincoln by name, but it really has absolutely no identity. I'm looking at this from the side, and it's like, if it didn't have that emblem on the fender, it'd be like, well, what the hell am I looking at? You know what I mean? Seriously, you know a Hyundai is a Hyundai, you know a Beamer is a Beamer, but that one... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if Ford eventually pulled the plug on Lincoln. It's just, you know, all the lack of cars they ever sold with Lincolns, they, uh, you know, basically the sales went to BMW, Mercedes, and Audi. Let's not kid ourselves. Even Cadillac. That's amazing. What an amazing uh, artwork. Very cool. Well, let's see. Am I at Jodi, though? Uh, this building with this really ornate... Uh, Oh no, this is Villa Ray. Well, we're gonna stop here. Villa Ray. Look at that artwork, man. This mural is outstanding. That's a great way to finish. I love doing these walking videos and finishing on a high note, you know? I don't even know what the hell this place is. It's a bike shop. Oh, cool. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it. That's all. Uh, thank you for watching. Merci de regarder. Take care. All the best. Stay good. Uh, stay safe. Uh, try to think positive. Uh, we are heading towards an endemic. I'm especially thinking as I was walking out of the metro and I took my mask off. I said, Christ, I can't wait till it, it, this ends. That's when you know it'll be all over when we have, don't have to wear the friggin' masks anymore. Really, you know? So there you go, ladies and germs. Take care of yourself. More to come and uh, check out the other videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Take it easy. Bye-bye.